Alright, so if you tuned in last episode, you saw the absolute mayhem that went down at the end, and I killed a majority of my team, and we're just left with this here butt cheek. I mean, butt cheek. So, seems to be holding something, actually. And we got a PP up. Hey, that's kind of nice. Thanks, buddy. That makes me feel a little better. So, yeah, I absolutely messed up. I did not grind enough before that rival battle, and now all we have left is this damn bird. So, I gotta really make sure this thing does not die. Um, so... We need to add some new Pokemon to the team. I'm sure that we're about to come up on some new routes, so we're gonna head over this way, and uh, I should probably buy some buy some Pokeballs before we before we get into this. I'm gonna just probably grab like four, making a nice even ten. And yeah, so I'm gonna try to go ahead and take this more seriously now that I know that the capabilities, like that freaking rollout, caught me absolutely off guard when you had two Pokemon a week to rock. That just really was not what I needed. So that kind of sucked, but we can head up up this way or also I don't think I've gone this way what are you doing this way leads to Dolphur and Forest it's quite amazing there cool is it amazing <laughs> get it I'm gonna win my first badge here but my chief is a grass type Pokemon which means it has a disadvantage against poison types man you hate to see it all right uh, we actually have a vending machine here and they they have all the good items we can get some lemonades I can only afford freaking two of these things but that's actually great for us to have lemonades rather than... I mean, that, that Mart is the worst Mart ever. All they have... Oh, damn it. I just... An extra can of lemonade drop down. Nice. Um, I was saying that Mart was like the worst Mart ever. They have freaking nothing good. We can grab another lemonade here. Only had three items. But uh, having these lemonades is going to help us out a lot. Basically super potions. So that's great. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, Screw it, we're grabbing a fresh water too. So we have no money, but I'm sure that we're going to get some trainer battles here. Uh, but first order, first order of business is to go catch some new freaking Pokemon. So let's get the hell out of here. Uh, we can head over to the left. We can head this way, or we could go... Let's head this way. I think... So I'm pretty sure the gym leader is up this way. I, I think at least. this. Yep, this is the Serpentine Garden. And uh, this is like some Game of Thrones garden shit. Some betrayal is about to go down in here. How cute is my Pixie? This little girl wants to show me her Pixwee, and that sounds wrong, but I know it's just a weird little butterfly Pokemon, so it, it's okay. It's okay. Lillian here has one Pokemon, and this is actually great for us because Twitter can absolutely demolish this thing with a peck, so that's what we needed. If we come across a trainer that has any type advantage on Twitter, we're pretty much going to lose, so I really got to play it safe, and I got to make sure that I'm able to catch something on this route. Some more fairy wins, we're able to take that, and peck's going to kill you. So I'm pretty sure that the gym leader has around level 11s. So we gotta be, we gotta be, make sure that we're we're grinded up. Twitter's already looking pretty solid, um, but over this way we have ourselves a Pokeball, free items. We take those, and it's a Silver Powder, so that just raises the power of Bug moves, and uh, that's kind of cool. Don't have any bugs to use that on. But our first encounter on this route is a Bud Cheap, and we already have one of you. So Species Clause comes into effect. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with that rule, essentially if we just run into something that we've already caught for our first encounter on a new or on an old route, we get to try again. So hopefully we get to find something new and a hey, it's a Pixwe. Um, which is actually kinda good, I kinda bad I guess, because I mean good and bad because this thing's actually kinda cool, but the gym leader is gonna be a poison gym, and uh that's we do not want I'm pretty sure this thing's fairy. So that's a bug fairy type doesn't really help us out too much for this upcoming gym. But we're going to put you to sleep. And we've got to catch this thing, like for sure. So, uh, we need anything we can get. Literally, <laughs> any team members at this point, we take those. You would think that they would have, like, some type advantage Pokemon around in the area that we could get that would help us for the poison gym. But nope, we just get a freaking fairy bug. So it's said that seeing Pixwe. While lost in the woods, grants you luck to find your way out. The myth persists as Pixwee continues to make their home in your human settlements. Cool. Well, we gotta give you a nickname. And, uh... What the hell should I name a Pixwee? Hmm. Okay, this thing kinda reminds me of a Pikmin. So... We're gonna go ahead and name you that. <laughs> Just like... Literally looks like a Pikmin thing with wings. I've never really played those games, but I, I know what those, those things look like, so... We have Pikmin now, and uh, I guess that's kind of cool. I don't know. Not sure how I feel about this thing. Modest Nature, so at least that's kind of good. It has Levitate. Fairy Wind and Gust. So we do need to grind this thing up a bit. We should go ahead and stick you in front. And uh, all right. 
So now we have a little butterfly following us. We are absolutely adorable, and I should probably go back and heal uh, before we get too crazy. I'm sure there is some more trainer battles over there. We're probably going to need to do some t switch training for this uh, this here Pixwe. Okay, we can go back and we can show that girl our Pixwe, see if she likes ours. Ours is big. We got a big-ass Pixwe. <laughs> um, but uh, I don't know how worth it it's going to be to invest time in grinding this thing up, considering we're about to go battle a bunch of freaking poison types. But I guess it, you know... It can't hurt to have something just in case. So let's head up. We got a nice little fountain looking cool. And uh, we got this youngster dude. Want to see my awesome Pokemon? I sure do, buddy. What you got for me? You better have something awesome. Jerome here has two Pokemon. He has a Hamstar. So, okay. Sends out the <laughs> the chicken nuggets. And uh, don't really want to mess with you too much. We're just going to switch right into Twitter here. This thing just sits there with just the most menacing look on its face. This little hamster wants to absolutely murder me. But hopefully you don't have rollout, because I saw you use defense curl. Now that would be bad news if this thing came at me with a rollout. And, oh my god, we're not able to do shit with Peck. Actually, I should be using... Why am I using Peck? I have echoed voice. Perfectly good special attack right here. So, that does some more. Luckily, just tackles. Thank you for not having... Okay, freaking baby doll eyes, too. You got the scariest eyes ever. Ain't no baby doll's eyes about them. I guess they kind of do like, like doll eyes, but seriously, just creepy as hell. All right, we can do Greta level 13 there, looking nice. And a hamstar again. So this guy says he has awesome Pokemon, and he just comes at us with a couple hamstars. So classic youngster move, huh? We'll go into Pikmin. We are about to grow a level. So luckily, we're already... I mean, we could maybe even take this thing on. Should I try to fairy wind it, see how much it does? We'll try to give you a nice little fairy wind. Okay, really does not do much. Uh, but it's just going to defense curl. Let's see if we can let Pikmin do this itself. Here we go, buddy. Some more freaking baby doll eyes, but that's fine, because Fairy Wind is a special attack. At least we did get a decent nature for this thing. Modest is plus special attack nature, so... That helps us out a little bit, at least. And it's going to be one more to kill this thing, so... Freaking four-hit KO, but we knock it out. And a well-deserved level seven, and uh, pretty much eight. Defeated. Not very awesome Pokemon you had, buddy. All right, what do you got? You look like a... You, you look pretty crazy. We got psychic types. Oh, hello, I'm Don... Oh, it's Donna. This is the... Is it, you're probably the gym leader. You have purple hair. You're Hayden. Nice to meet you. I was just relaxing here in the gardens. It's so peaceful and beautiful here. It helped me unwind after a tough gym battle. This garden always reminds me of when I was a kid. I'd water the roses here while my dad tried to find bug-type Pokemon. You wanted to battle? Well, I guess that would be fun. I'll head back to the gym now and get prepared, so please come when you're ready. All right, cool. So, we pretty much got that quest done with. We found the gym leader. Um, so now let's head up this way. We also have looks like some more trainers. We're definitely gonna grind some more before we head into the into that gym battle. We ain't going into that cold turkey, man. I know that there, she's gonna bust out some crazy moves on me, and I'm prepared now. I know that this game likes to just ruin my life, so we're playing it safe. Anyway, bug catcher Paul here's got a stick it. I miss my stick it, man. I can uh, I can hit you with a gust though. So this thing is what it's a. Uh, grass bug type so you do not like flying moves and that destroys you look at pikmin already taking names you love to see it gonna go to level eight there and uh a jumple the hell is a jumple have i seen jumple yet i don't think i have nope we definitely have not seen this thing that's actually a really cool bug type i honestly could see this thing being like a real an actual pokemon oh shit it uses bide though so that's not good um bide does have to go for at least two or three Three, three turns or something? He's going to store some energy. Okay, so Bide is an absolute Nuzlocke killer. If you ever see a Pokemon using Bide, essentially get the hell out of there. But luckily we're able to do it. KO that thing, and we beat him. So, good stuff, good stuff. Anyway, uh, we have another item over here. There's just items all over the damn place. And it's a potion, so we definitely will take all the free potions we can get. What else? Uh, wonder what else we can find in the wild here. Let's see what else... Is lurking in this grass. We're gonna for sure find something crazy cool. Okay, just this, a Laven seed. I believe that thing's also a fairy type. We do not want you because we really don't need fairy types right before the freaking poison gym. It's like they strategically placed the poison gym here to destroy your fairy types that you caught. Also, grass types and stuff like that. But we'll give you one more gust, and we should grow to level nine or at least close. Thank you, Laven seed. Okay, yeah, we're, we're close to nine. Also, I don't think we've battled you yet. Hello, miss. Aren't these gardens wonderful? They sure are. Nice and straight to the point. Let's battle. Last Sadie here has two Pokemon. You got a Cheap Hip. Uh, level 7. Um, I'm going to go ahead and 
Get the hell out of here. Wait, I'm, bu I'm Bug Fairy. Yeah, we're definitely switching the hell out of here. And we're going to switch in Twitter. So is, Ch is Cheap Pip a grass type? That's something that guy said something about it being grass type, right? Very interesting. Well, we're just going to give you a echoed voice. Why not? Go ahead and absolutely yell at you. And grass whistle. What the frick? How are you going to grass whistle me like that, you asshole? So we're going to stay asleep, of course, as this thing just gets to peck away at my life. While I stay here taking a damn nap on the battlefield, wake your ass up, Twitter. Excuse me? If you could, there we go, there we go. Thank you, he heard me. Thank you for waking up, sir. All right, we're able to knock that thing out. And uh, get some solid experience there. We go to level nine with that. And a Laven Seed. So we'll go right back into Pikmin here. And we have quite the coverage when it comes to hitting things with flying moves. But we need a damn Psychic or like a ground type would be ideal, but I don't think we're going to get that lucky. We do get at least one more encounter, I believe, in that forest before the gym leader, so that's going to be helpful. If we could find something other than a bug type, though, that would be great, because, man, we're really going to have a tough time against this gym leader if it just all comes down to using bud sheep, but who knows. What a great battle. Got $168. Thank you, and I think that's pretty much it for this forest, or this, uh, this garden. So, all right, let's get the hell out of here. We found the gym leader. We did some battles, and let's see... Do I need to, uh, do I need to heal up? And I think we're, I probably should. I, I second guessed myself and I can guarantee something was going to die if I didn't heal. So screw it. We're going to go ahead and get a nice little heal before we head into the forest where hopefully we'll find a good amount of trainers. Um, Cause we do still need some levels. We also need to catch one more Pokemon to level up. So we got some business to take care of before we go heck up Donna or whatever her name was. So. We also got some more money. We could buy some more lemonades, but let's just head over this way. And let's see what's going on over here. What's up, buddy? Hello? Talk to me. I saw mysterious people in Durf Dolphin Forest, but I was too afraid to follow them. Ooh, are we about to see the evil team? I want to go to Dolphor Dolphin Forest, but I forgot to bring enough potions and antidotes with me. Yeah, see, that's a bummer. You got to be prepared. Hey, we found a full heal in the trash. That's like our second trash item, so... <laughs> I've always thought about, what if it was like a half-used full heal? They're like, somebody used it, and they're like, I don't need all this, just throw it away. We got some spider webs on the trees, that's how you can tell this place is spooky as hell. And, uh, oh, it's even going in. Hey, hello? I can't, I can't go over there? Object looks like it can be cut down. Ooh, is he gonna even use cut on other things other than just trees? That's kind of cool. So we can't go that way yet. Um, actually, it doesn't look like we can go anyway yet. Excuse me? I thought I was going to be able to get a new encounter here, but unfortunately, it doesn't quite look like it. So, man, can we get cut anywhere? I mean, I'm sure we have to wait until after the gym badge uh, to use cut. I don't know, I've ran past that item a couple times now. I just now realized you guys probably hate me for that. I'm the only doctor here in Serpentine City. If there are any sick Pokemon or people, I will cure them. I'm just not that easy to call because I misplaced my phone again and again. <laughs> what? Okay, okay. Daddy's a doctor. He can cure people and Pokemon. Well, cool. I was hoping you were going to give me cuts, but of course not. So it looks like, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to go with this gym ba go into this gym battle with only two Pokemon. We find an X speed there, which is not all that useful. But uh, have I gone in this house yet? I'm sure I... pretty sure I have. Can't catch Pokemon in buildings. I tried it once. Wait, maybe I haven't gone in here. You guys got anything for me? Pokemon Doveheart. I heard you can find them in the forest trees. I believe you can. Maybe that's a headbutt one. Serpentine City is a big place. Make sure you don't get lost. All right, I'll do my best, buddy. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm pretty sure the gym leader has around a level, level 11 or 12, something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and train up. Uh, we do need to get my Pokemon up to... I might even do 15, man, because I'm, I'm going into this with just two Pokemon. So we got to play it safe. I'm going to go grind for a little bit. I'm just going to cut that out so we save a little bit of time. But I will be back with battle-ready Pokemon. All right, so the team is looking pretty much ready to do the damn thing. I think we're going to rely on Twitter for the most part here. Uh, we got up to level 14, and then we have Pikmin, who I got to 12, uh, just because I was too lazy to go any further, and I don't really think that we're going to be using this thing too much in here. So without any further ado, let's go into our first gym and see how this goes. Hopefully we don't lose here. That would be nice if we could uh, pull off a win. What's up, buddy? Yo, champ in the making. Is this your first time in a gym? It sure is. Then you have to know that you're only allowed to battle the gym, uh, battle the leader with the same amount of Pokemon as the leader. If you have more in your party, you have to choose them before. Ooh, interesting. Okay, that's a new mechanic. 
Okay then, the leader of this gym, Donna, uses poison type Pokemon. Grass type and bug type attacks won't work well against poison type, so be careful. Using three Pokemon for her battle, so you can choose up to three as well. Nice, well that's actually interesting. Makes thing, I mean, doesn't really matter for us, because obviously we uh, only have two Pokemon. But uh, okay, this guy gives us an antidote as well. Thank you, sir. And let's do it. So we're just going to leave Bud Cheap in front. Okay, so it looks like we just got a couple trainers in here. Let's get it. Let's see if you're ready for a gym battle. I Honestly, I could be more ready. I really wish that I had, you know, my starter still. But we're just going to move on. And holy shit, look at this thing. That does not look fun to step on. We got a Stodotox here. Sto Stodota Stodox? Stodotox? I don't know. Well, this thing looks absolutely amazing. I want one of these. Where do I get one? Hello? We're going to give you an Echo Boys. See if you like that. And you don't like... I mean, you do like that because it's not very effective. This thing's got to be Rock Poison then. I hit this with a tackle, so... I guess we just <laughs> I guess we just continue to go for Echoed Voices. Um, I actually did a lot more, so one more should do the trick here. Tackles me down. Uh, Twitter being level 14, I think sets us up in a pretty good position here. Because I think it's level 9, so we should be okay. Lacey's been defeated. Ugh, too strong. Get $216. And we have one more. I probably should have actually just healed up right there. But uh, I think... Maybe I should go back and grab another lemonade too. We're probably going to need some lemonades for this. Last vinyl has a tad art in. Look at this thing. That is actually a really cool design. I love this thing. I want to keep it. Can I have it, please? It looks like it's probably grass type. So Peck, probably, yep, super effective. So that's going to be a nice and easy two hit KO there. And it goes for a sludge. So, of course, gets the freaking poison. And yeah, that's annoying. But luckily... One more peck is going to do the trick, and yo, it's like a poison dart frog, and that is awesome. That's a, very, that's a really cool design. I really like that thing. So we're about to grow to level 15 as well, so we're looking pretty solid. And holy shit, what happened? Whoa, buddy. He's poisoned. Okay, so apparently that's what your Pokemon look like when they're poisoned. Shivering with the effects of being poisoned. Well, we got to run back and heal then. Um, that's actually pretty cool they made the poison look like that, and I do not want to kill you on the way to the Poke Center. We have nine steps less than left in us. We should be able to... Should be able to get there, right? Am I playing it? Am I being sketchy right now? Yeah, we have six. Okay. <laughs> if I lost a Pokemon in this Nuzlocke to freaking poison damage, I will literally... I don't, I don't even know what I would do. I would just be bummed out. But <laughs> Okay, we'll get a nice little heal here. Also, I'm gonna go see... Do I have enough money for freaking another Lemonade? I should at least have enough for one more Lemonade. We, Other than that, we just have regular potions. Then I also have a fresh water, but... We want to make sure that we're going into this as safe as possible because last episode I really messed up. So we're okay, three fifty. Yeah, we can get uh, can get two of these bad boys. It'd be nice if one of these times it gave me two. Like last time we got we got two. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and grab uh, one more aid, and we're getting aids from uh, this year vending machine. So okay, we got two more. That should be pretty good. Let's take that in the old medicine pocket. I always feel like, how weird is that? That lemonades work better than a manufactured potion to heal Pokemon. Just give them some sugary lemon drink and they're, they're better off. Like, what the hell's up with that, Pokemon logic? Okay, continuing, we just have one more trainer and then there's the gym leader. So, quite the maze they got going on in this, in this first gym. Go with Spydox. That is something we have not seen. Trixie here has one Pokemon and it's a Spydox, which is a cool... Black Widow. I This thing's got to be bug type, so hopefully Peck helps us out here. And uh, goes for a spider web, can no longer escape. Joke's on you. I did not want to escape, so actually knocks it out in one peck, so that's perfect. And do we grow a level 15 off this? We do grow a level 15. Looking nice, buddy. Try to learn wing attack as well. Oh my god, yes. What a fantastic time to learn wing attack. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, so 60 base power, much better than peck. Uh, but I'm just going to get rid of growl, just in case... For some reason, we just need Peck, too. I don't know. Poof. We forget Growl. And now we have Wing Attack. Hell yeah. Take that, Trixie. Just ate your Spydox with my freaking bird. Yes! Oh my god! Twitter's evolving, too! Yo, this was... I'm very glad I trained up to the point that I did. Because, holy shit, we're evolving. And now we're gonna be a middle-aged bird or a teenage bird. <laughs> and... Well, this should make our time a whole lot easier against this gym. So... What do we evolve into? Okay, we changed color. And we got a lot more smug looking. We're Bud Chirp now. <laughs> bud Chirp instead. We were Bud Cheap, now we're Bud Chirp. Whoa, look at this. Okay, that's actually awesome. So now Twitter is an absolute beast. We look all pissed off. And uh, we got a 
some nice stats. We have higher special attack. Uh, but now we have wing attack, which is a way better stab move. And spirits are high going into this first gym battle, boys. Let's do it. Oh, hey, Hayden. I'm glad you came. Thanks. Well, this is the gym. Well, my gym, I guess. This used to belong to my dad, so I just started growing my roses here. I've loved poison-type Pokemon since I was born. They can be tough, but beautiful, too. Just like how every rose has its thorns. Let's do our best, okay? Choose up to three Pokemon for our battle. Well, I only have two, so we're going to go ahead and choose Twitter, and we'll choose Pikmin. So let's do it. We're probably not going to use Pikmin, because uh, I, I, mean, I probably could take at least one poison move, but... We're going to play it safe. Now that we have an evolved bur bird, I did not even know that that was going to happen, but that worked out perfectly. As Donna has three Pokemon, she leads on for the Tad Arts, and that is great, because uh, we can just wing attack you with our new shiny wing attack move. Goes for Leaf Darts. Okay, that probably has a chance to poison, but uh, it's just a grass move, it seems. And we eat that up, so wing attack will probably knock you out. Yeah, take that, Tad Art. I do love you, though. It it hurts me to kill Tadard. He's adorable. And next is Spyduck. So she does just have two of the same Pokemon that the uh, beginning people use. And that's actually great because they're both weak to flying. And things are starting to look up finally for us, boys. One wing attack will probably do the trick on this thing, too. Yeah, take that. Yo, Twitter. We were not playing games with that grinding session. And last but not least is a Fiva, which is something we have not seen before. But we do probably have to just stay in here. And uh, what the hell is this thing? Oh, right. It looks like a... Uh, it looks like a like a Gothitelle, kind of. What, what, what is this thing supposed to be? So, it's level 12. Uh, let's just go for a wing attack, see how much we can do here. And uh, we do do over half. It goes for Fever, which, uh, what the hell just restored its health using its orange berry? You asshole. Okay, well, Fever does a decent amount of damage. We just gotta hope this thing doesn't crit us. Um, but, please don't kill me, please. Yes, <laughs> we've done it. One more wing attack. Nope, never false alarm. False alarm, she's got potions. She's got potions, okay. Um, pretty sure we just outspeed and kill it, but I will literally hate myself if I manage to kill my Twitter. So we're just gonna go ahead and give you some nice little, nice little water, a little bottle of water mid game. Okay, so I don't know what the hell fever is. Oh, but it burns you, apparently. Okay, that, uh, I'm very glad that that happened now rather than earlier because that does have our physical attack. We can just go for one more wing attack, though. Should still do the trick. And we have done it. <laughs> Successfully beat the first gym leader without losing anybody. And uh, we also grow to level 16 in the process. Looking nice. I need a bit more training. You sure do. Get $1,200. Even though I lost, that was a good battle. I've got a lot more to learn, it seems. You sure do. I'm happy to give you this. And ooh, look at that animation for the thorn badge. Looking nice. We got ourselves our first gym badge. And look at burned freaking... Bud Chirp, looking awesome. That's the official official gym badge of Serpentine City, the Thorn Badge. Oh, take this too. We also get TM uh, 102 for Fever, so that's kind of cool. It's a Poison type move. It has a chance of making the foe become burned with a Fever. That's a, actually an interesting move. I, I do like that. Um, so we're burned, so we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. I don't think anybody can learn Fever, as uh, that would be kind of weird. Oh, look at who it is. It's this asshole who killed my starter Pokemon. How do you feel about yourself? Hey Hayden, how'd your battle go? You won? Wow, that's a cool badge. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll go battle Donna for my own gym badge now, but you should head back over to the trainer school and see what it is Mount uh, that Mr. Bella has for winning the gym badge. Catch you later. Will do, friend. Will do. Okay. So, um, let's go back to the old Poke Center. We're going to get a nice little heal. And uh, this was quite the successful, much more successful than last episode. My team has not died. We even added... A new mod to the team, we can also go catch something in the forest over there, so that should be fun. Get a nice little heal up going. We probably don't need to train up Twitter for quite some time because we're kind of OP at this point, but we needed to do that because we did not want to lose the Nuzlocke. So we're just going to stick Pikmin in front. And, uh, alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end the episode here. Next time, we're going to go ahead and see what that guy's got for us as a, as a prize or whatever. Wait, was it in the Pokemon Center that that guy was... I totally forgot where... I know, I know he just said it. Was it in here? Hello? Looking for a Laven... No, this is the dude that wants a freaking Laven Seed. No, I don't... I don't... I don't have a... Don't have. What's up? Pass... No, this is Password Pat. Where the hell was the... Where the hell was the guy that gives me stuff? It was, uh... Hello? 
Oh wait, it's in the trainer school, isn't it? That, that was where that was where we went earlier. We'll see what this guy's got for us. Why not? Hello? I have a gym badge. Please reward me. What's that? The gym badge. Congratulations. Now, as I said before, I'll give you something that will help you with your journey. But seeing as how you managed to get the gym badge so easily, I would like you to battle my students. It may help you as well as them become better trainers. Okay. okay. After you defeat them, I'll give you that special item, I promise. This guy's just making us go on all sorts of quests, man. Well, what the hell? Well, we're gonna have to go ahead and teach this kid's or this guy's students some freaking lessons next time. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button on this video if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.